an online lecture on biomedical waste management by Dr. S. M. Jain, Professor in Microbiology for BSc MRI students. Good morning. I welcome all the BSc first year MRIT students on my lecture on biomedical waste management. Biomedical waste management is related to hospital. Biomedical means related to medical, the waste related to medical. And this is related to microbiology also because it involves the infection and you are already initiated you are already given the knowledge of infection that what is infection what are microorganism also is taught to you in brief of course so very tiny notorious organisms which sometime can cause infection are known as microorganisms and in medical science we have got two kinds of the diseases good morning I welcome all the BSc first year MRIT students on my lecture on biomedical waste management. Biomedical waste management is related to hospital. Biomedical means related to medical, the waste related to medical. And this is related to microbiology also because it involves the infection and you are already initiated you are already given the knowledge of infection that what is infection what are microorganisms also is taught to you in brief of course so very tiny notorious organisms which sometime can cause infection are known as microorganisms and in medical science, we have got two kinds of the diseases. At the outset, it is very important to understand the waste as well as the, the real recycling and the life on the earth uh, uh, from nature's point of view. We all know that the whole life is an organic recycling of the carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen and oxygen. And we are... We all are given the material in the form of the organic molecules for a brief period of time only. Then we will again mix up in the soil and the recycling goes by the nature very intelligently. We will see in the nature that there is no waste as such major waste. Only the man-made things, they uh, require the waste management and there are three principles of the waste management which are automatically followed in the nature but then these principles are needed to be followed more closely by the humans. The three R's we all know is the reduce, reuse and recycle. Remember, always remember, you must always be remembering, you already know the three R's, I hope what is a waste as i said earlier nothing in the nature is a waste nature uses from the primary agency to secondary agency to tertiary agency the whole recycling is very intelligently done in the nature but then the humans when primary user has done its its um, uh, utilization it discards it and then it has to be collected by certain agency segregated into various categories, transported, treated, recycled and finally disposed. So very, very, very many aspects of the waste management are there. We will try to discuss some of them. Kachara kya hai? I try to define in a poetic, simpler manner. Kaam ka jab usme kuch nahi bach raha, to wo kehlata hai kachara. Don't think that biomedical waste is the only waste. There are many kinds of the waste briefly categorized into seven categories here. Household or domestic waste, 
also known as municipal waste, commercial waste, demolition waste, industrial waste, biomedical waste, radioactive waste, electronic waste. So we are really in a soup to categorize and identify all kinds of the waste. Anyways, we are here focusing on the biomedical waste only, so don't worry for a for now at least for other ways. Why my biomedical waste is separate waste category? This question is frequently asked by anybody to anybody and you will also be asked this question. I have tried to answer this question by certain points. You can very well understand and remember then. One is the biomedical waste is waste containing infectious or potentially infectious material. This is one very important component of the biomedical waste. Second, very important, it contains sharps which are frequently used in the medical profession. They can cause injury as well as infection. Then, the material which is included in the biomedical waste can be ferment, is fermentable. So fermentation will spoil the environment, foul smell will be generated. You can imagine that the pus, if uh, rotten pus is further degrading, how smell it will produce in the environment and it will also attract the flies, etc. Then the very important uh, cause is that when this biomedical waste is mixed with the whole domestic waste, it is a real mass. Only 10% almost waste is biomedical waste when it is mixed with the domestic waste which is 90% the whole bulk of the infectious waste increases. And then of course one also important thing is that the rag pickers, there are people who thrive, who, who have their livelihood in this waste especially the plastic waste and metal waste. So they are attracted by this waste and they can uh, handle that waste recklessly and get infected and then further spread the infection if they do not handle the waste in a proper manner. Now, biomedical waste management announced little history of the biomedical waste. I want you to go back to the emergence of the HIV. If you remember, 1981 is the date when the in USA the HIV was identified. In 1986 it entered in India. Many other things happened together and the awareness about the hepatitis B virus is also simultaneously grown, its transmission through the, the blood. So all these conditions, they led to a new thinking and USA, United States of America, pioneered to identify and make rules for the biomedical waste management separately than all other wastes. And similar rules were made in 1998 in India which were effective, operative since 1-1-2003. And this was the first rule effective in India and this rule had 10 categories of biomedical waste types. Then, initially every healthcare facility was handling the waste till final treatment, which was posing a lot of problem and considering that Ministry of Environment and Pollution Control Board came together with the generation of idea of CBMWTF, that is Common Biomedical Waste Treatment Facility. That means many hospitals or many healthcare facilities together will give their biomedical waste to this facility with some payments and this facility will do the treatment so that the stringent uh, requirement of the treatment will not be a burden to the individual uh, healthcare facility. And in 2016, these rules were amended and the major amendment was that earlier it was 10 categories, 
the categories were reduced to four although we will see in our later slide that this is not much the basic category remains the same uh, we will see what is four to ten ten to four or so so this was a mm, the timelines or the history of the biomedical waste management and the rules history who has to follow biomedical waste management rules there are big definitions if you want you can mug up otherwise just understand that anybody who is handling the the biological biological uh, services like the hospital the pscs clinics immunization centers who are the generators of the biomedical waste are listed in it and the definition is that any waste which is generated during the diagnosis treatment immunization or research on the humans or animals is comes under the biomedical waste you can if you want you can mug up these two definitions if, otherwise if you explain nicely also it will do now what are the basics of the biomedical waste management similar to domestic waste or any other waste there are five steps which i have written here number one is the knowledge the awareness and the intention to do that number two segregated collection this is the pivotal and the key point segregated collection the consumer or the user had, has to as much as segregate in collecting then the storage in a suitable size container and place transportation from the collection site to the storage site to the treatment site and then finally the fifth is the treatment and final disposal of the waste these five steps are there you can very well understand the basics of the biomedical waste management in these four steps number one we have already discussed that it constitute only roughly 15 percent of the total waste of the waste generated in a healthcare facility so you have to separate this 15 percent otherwise it will spoil the whole 100 percent two the primary aim of the waste management is to prevent infection and prevention of the injury by the sharps and this is achieved by pre-treatment and final treatment of the biomedical waste and as is done in the domestic waste there is recycling after making it non-infectious so these three are the fundamentals of the waste management especially applicable to biomedical waste then the fourth category look at the four categories fourth point look at the categories now if you want to keep with understanding you should understand two things first number one you can divide the whole biomedical waste into two categories one is recyclable and one is non-recyclable now yellow is not recyclable you cannot recycle the waste which is classified into yellow category it is non-plastic non-metal waste recycling not possible nothing very 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 significant is achieved by the recycling of course some people have tried uh, composting this yellow category waste so this waste is burned and yellow color is very appropriately chosen for this kind of the waste so incineration you already know is burning till it become ashes rest three the red color the blue color and the white color they are all recyclable now smartly all the waste is classified into three categories the remaining one let apart the incinerable waste so the plastic is one recyclable entity the metal is another recyclable entity white the sharp is a special recyclable uh, apart from the recycling potential more hazard is of the of the uh, injury so because of the injury although he is saying recycling 
potential is not good for the sharp uh, kind of the waste. So, you can have another way to categorize it into three categories, yellow, uh, red and blue together and the white separate. So, white separate, you have understood, it is a, it is a different kind of waste which causes the um, injury. So, it is either deep buried or encapsulated or uh, methods to do the blunting of this sharp uh, objects. The remaining ones are the red and the blue. One is plastic and one is other than plastic. Plastic is relatively in bulk, so we have kept we have kept a separate category red. And the remaining less quantity are the blue, the metal and the glass. Uh, both after pretreatment, making them infectious can be recycled. So that is the logic and reasoning behind the classification. New classification is very good. I was attending a, a workshop of three days in Bangalore while attending with the attending the workshop I wrote this Hindi poem on the biomedical waste management in nutshell. This is a lovely poem which I have written. I like it and I narrate it proudly. This is one of the, my poems written on the biomedical waste management when I first joined a national training camp in the Bangalore. So to just simplify and poetize, I have written it. It is a very good poem. And I hope you like reading this simple poem where the, the um, classification of the waste as well as the treatment is summarized in a poetic fashion. In the next uh, video, you will see my popular tomcat reciting this same poem in its own style. कचरा पुराण हमने बड़ी अच्छी नीति बना डाली हरी नीली पीली काली पीली बड़ी खतरे वाली अगर ये ठीक से ना संभाली हमने खतरे की घंटी गले में है डाली उन ककार खतरे वाला घाव इन सब को पीली बकेट में दाग फिर इसको मरघट भिजवा दे और ठीक से इंसिनरेटर में जलवा दे घर ठीक से ना इसको संभाला इसका कचरा तेरा मुंह कर देगा काला शायद फिर तुझे न बचा पाए ऊपर वाला The categories of the waste, an important item of the biomedical waste management, the old categories and the new categories. As I told you in the earlier rule, the old rules, the categories were 10 and it is the, in the new it is 4 and why this is needed. Because if you do not know predetermined classified types of the waste, the awareness will be accordingly. It will be a hassle. If you know four categories of the waste, you will be trying to classify and throw the waste into four categories. If there are ten types of the waste, you will try to so to throw in ten categories. So that awareness, which is pre-classified, predetermined, pre-fixed, has to be there, so that you can devise different types of the suitable dust winds. So we have already discussed the old rules and then the new rules. You can go very well in detail at your own if you want. It will be a lovely exercise to do that. And in the end you will find that uh, the 10 categories of the waste uh, actually is the same except from the classification point of view uh, with the addition rather of the two types we will see how the subcategory total two are increased this is the slide showing the old biomedical type you can see 10 categories this is the categories of the waste as per the new rules that is the march 2016 rules 
from the category yellow red white and, and blue you can see that there are overall 12 eight from the yellow one from the red nine uh, one from the sharp 10 and then two from the blue total 12 categories are there in total which is uh, for the from the dustbin point of view the category are defined now so earlier the dustbins are different the category of the waste was different now the category of the waste has become dustbin colors of the waste color coding of the old chart you can see that the uh, the color of the container dustbins was five that time um, yellow red blue or white and black now the color has become the category you can see the waste category there were 10 we have already discussed this is a comparison chart i have prepared the old and new category system as i have mentioned earlier there are two extra categories in the new and that is uh, and one which was there in the old one the incinerator ash it is not mentioned in the new rules and what are the um, newly added uh, in this you can you should do this homework it will be a nice homework for you i will not mention which is newly added and which was not there in the earlier category the question of utmost importance whose duty and responsibility is biomedical waste management very important question uh, it should be known by understanding also and this question this question of duty is very important and proper segregation of respective waste in designated color coded dustbin is the most important aspect of the biomedical waste management and it is the duty of all inhabitants of the hospital including doctors nurses ugs pgs parents patients attendants sanitary workers in other words all who are whoever are there in the hospital so biomedical waste management is duty of none but all i am showing a very good video from the application developed by all india institute of medical sciences delhi and in the end of my slideshow i am giving you the the app uh, download uh, information it's a very good app to learn so please enjoy the short video about the segregation of the biomedical waste are o neele peele dabbo zara batao to hospital mein kitne tarah ka kachra hota hai ha are o neele peele dabbo जरा बताओ तो हॉस्पिटल में कितने तरह का कचरा होता है हॉस्पिटल में चार तरह का कचरा होता है सरदार <laughs> सुन लिया ना जितेंद्र बाबू हाँ ये तो मुझे पता है पर प्रॉब्लम ये है कि किस दिन में क्या डिस्पोज करना है ये कैसे याद रहे जिम्मेदार डब्बों समस्या क्या है सुन लिया ना तुम लोगों ने हाँ सरदार हाँ सरदार नहीं तरीका अपनाओ असरदार <laughs> अरे तो अब शुरू हो जाओ मैं हूँ वाइट यानी कि उजला निडल सुई शार्प कुछ भी हो नुकीला सब ऐसा वाइट का ही है झमेला बहुत अच्छे आई वी नली प्लास्टिक थैली थैला सब लाल में ही है धकेला ओ क्या भूले क्या गलती हुई <laughs> सिरिंज बिना सुई यस हम्म क्या बोले भाई मैं हूँ पीला बस है पीला बस है पट्टी नहीं अपुर ऐसे बोलेगा टिश्यू कटेला फटेला खून से सनेला पुरानी दवाई का हो झमेला या केमिकल का लोचा इसका उपाय सोचा 
तभी तो पीला लगाया समझे मेरे भाया समझे हाँ हाँ अब आई मेरी बारी <laughs> अच्छे से कर लो जांच नीले में हो शीशा और कांच समझे शाबाश अब तेरा क्या होगा रे कालिया तुम्हारे लिए अलग से कार्ड बनवाऊं क्या नहीं नहीं नह, 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 सरदार दरअसल हम इस बिरादरी में नहीं हूं ना पर हम काले हैं दिल वाले हैं म्यूनिसपैलिटी का जनरल वेस्ले जाने वाले हैं सरदार अब समझे आप या अभी भी मन में है कोई डाउट नहीं नहीं अब नहीं है कोई डाउट कंफ्यूजन सारी हो गई है आउट टो टो खुश हुआ प्लीज डोंट कंफ्यूज विद द ब्लैक कैटेगरी दिस इज ऑल इंडिया इंस्टीट्यूट सिस्टम वीडियो वेयर दे हैव अडॉप्टेड ब्लैक कैटेगरी फॉर द डोमेस्टिक वेस्ट कलेक्शन हियर इन पीएमटी प्रवरा मेडिकल ट्रस्ट वी हैव डिसाइडेड टू हैव ए ग्रीन कैटेगरी फॉर द डोमेस्टिक वेस्ट सो कंसिडर ग्रीन इंस्टेड ऑफ ब्लैक फॉर द अंडरस्टैंडिंग I have told you about the common biomedical waste treatment facility. You can get a short note, or you can be asked, and it is important to know about it. As I said earlier, that soon the government identified that it will it is difficult that it is it is difficult for the individual occupier to run the waste treatment facilities. so they brought a idea of common biomedical waste treatment facilities these biomedical waste treatment facilities collect the waste from the biomedical waste collected in the healthcare facilities which are in segregated manner so these segregated wastes are there already collected and segregated and tied and stored in a place by the health healthcare facility and this is collected on a regular basis rather daily basis by the uh, common facility and in lieu of this service given by the common facility the healthcare facilities are charged some money is given to them right now per bed per day 5 rupees 50 paisa we are paying to them and we have got a contract with the bioclean systems private limited at ahmednagar the memorandum of understanding is shown uh, in the next slides this is the copy of the agreement between the two agencies biomedical waste management treatment facility at ahmednagar bioclean and prabhara medical trust this is the this is the copy of the uh, mou just to make you aware next uh, is the um, image a ima goes eco friendly a very good common biomedical waste treatment facility activity by the ima kerala uh, i ha i don't have a good video of our um, facility the bioclean so for the conceptual uh, the ideal uh, understanding i am showing you this facility god's own country kerala the land known for its greenery and serenity a state with high indices of healthcare God's own country Kerala the land known for its greenery and serenity a state with high indices of healthcare acclaimed by the World Health Organization as the Kerala model in the medical and ecological maps of Kerala stands tall an institution image Indian Medical Association goes eco friendly image is the one and only common biomedical waste treatment and disposal facility in Kerala it is the flagship project of the IMA branch of Kerala 
It is the first of its kind and the largest biomedical waste management project in the country, which scientifically disposes 35 tons of biomedical wastes per day. Image Indian Medical Association goes eco-friendly. A project which is hailed globally as the Kerala IMA model of biomedical waste management and a testimony to the social commitment and far-sightedness of the IMA leadership. The entire proceedings of the image plant are in strict compliance with the Biomedical Waste Management Rules 2016 and related Central Pollution Control Board guidelines. Biomedical waste by definition is any waste which is generated during the diagnosis, treatment or immunization of human beings or animals or research activities pertaining thereto or in the testing of biological or in health camps. The process of biomedical waste management is laborious, requiring meticulous handling and scientific attention. The multiple phases involved can be sorted into the following processes. Segregation, collection, transportation, scientific treatment and disposal. The initial process of segregation at source is done using different color-coded containers. The yellow containers with yellow plastic bags are used strictly for storing human and animal anatomical wastes including post-surgical human tissues, organs, placenta, wound dressing materials, cotton, plaster of Paris, used blood bags, laboratory biological wastes, face masks, etc. These biomedical wastes can be incinerated. Other biomedical wastes which cannot be incinerated are stored strictly in the red containers with red plastic bags. These include euro bags, catheters, feeding tubes, gloves, infusion sets, plastic IV and medicine bottles, syringes, dialysis kits, needle caps, etc. Sharp biomedical wastes like needles, blades, lancets, other sharps and metallic items are stored in puncture, leak and tamper-proof white containers. The fourth blue containers are used to store glassware, including broken, discarded and contaminated glass, medicine vials, ampules, etc. IME provides meticulous training to each healthcare facility for this purpose. These wastes, thus segregated, are collected in similar color-coded containers and shifted to the central storage facility of each institution. After the processes of segregation and collection begins the next toilsome process, transportation. Nearly 35 tons of biomedical wastes per day are transported to the image plant at Kanjikode, Palakkad, in the most sophisticated manner. For this, Image runs 52 specially designed covered vehicles. These pollution control board approved vehicles are manned with a driver, sanitary worker and a supervisor. These vehicles which are monitored 24 by 7 using GPS satellite vehicle monitoring system are also equipped with Android phones having specially designed mobile application. On each collection day, the app has to be logged in and the territory, receipt status, vehicle number, vehicle staff details and route need to be entered. Further, on reaching the institution, its QR code is to be scanned by the mobile app before collection of biomedical wastes. Image stringently follows the barcode-based biomedical waste collection system mandated by the BMWM Rule 2016 and as directed by the Central Pollution Control Board Guidelines 2018. As stipulated, the barcodes of each bag is scanned before shifting them to the transporting vehicle. This data is stored in the central server of IMAGE. The collection vehicles of IMAGE reach the threshold of each healthcare facility 365 days a year, irrespective of strikes or hartals. Thus, the rule that biomedical waste should be segregated and collected within 24 hours of generation and should be processed within the next 24 hours is strictly adhered to. The image vehicles, which ply a distance of around 10,000 km per day across the length and breadth of Kerala, is a familiar sight for a Malayali. The biomedical wastes, thus collected from Parashala to Kasargod, is brought and shifted to the collection hall of the image central plant. 
On unloading, each bag is weighed and the barcode is scanned and verified. The design of the system-generated unique 20-digit barcode is intricate. The digits in each barcode in serial order indicates bag color, supplier detail, distributor detail, HCE type, territory, affiliation number and the system-generated random unique number of each bag. Thus, the entire detail of each bag right from collection to disposal can be traced in the click of a mouse. Any deficits detected are immediately intimated to the concerned healthcare facility for correction and retraining is provided if needed. Thus is the meticulous care and attention bestowed by IMA in executing the barcode-based biomedical waste management recommendations of the Pollution Control Board. IMAGE is the first BMWM facility in the country to implement the barcode process to the fullest. The next step in the process of biomedical waste management is scientific treatment. The wastes brought in the yellow covers which can be burned like cotton and other biological materials are processed through the incinerator. The IMAGE project houses five incinerators including Rotary incinerator of international standards which can function non-stop for 24 hours without any need for a cooling time. The wastes are fed to the 850 degrees centigrade hot primary chamber and are further processed at 1050 degrees centigrade in the secondary chamber. The gas thus produced is further cleansed using advanced pollution control devices within the incinerator and let into the atmosphere at a height of 100 feet as pure smoke. To assess even a trace of pollution in the smoke, a sophisticated equipment called Continuous Stack Emission Monitoring System is installed in the image plant. This data is continuously monitored by the Pollution Control Board. The rest of the incinerated waste is unalloyed ash which is collected and stored in temporary pits in the landfill area and later sent to Kerala Enviro Infrastructure Limited, KEL, Cochin for landfill. Thus, the end products are pure gas as safe as breeze and pollution-free ash which can be handled safely. The waste materials brought in the red covers like plastic and rubber wastes and sharp materials are autoclaved. In this process, the wastes are subjected to steam sterilization at 121 degrees centigrade and at a pressure of 1.5 kilogram per centimeter square. Such autoclaved materials are further sorted in a 150 meter long conveyor belt through a laborious process involving hundreds of workers. IMA has set up a vast sorting shed exclusively for this purpose. Through the multi-tiered process of sorting and resorting, plastics, glasses, etc. are fully separated. To ensure further safety, syringes, which have a high potential of reuse, are powdered to pieces using shredder. Scrap grinders are used to slice down blood bag, urine bag, etc. The rest of the carefully sorted wastes, including IV bottles, covers, etc., are chopped and compressed in the compactor into standard block-sized bundles. All these plastic waste materials are then sent for recycling. Glass bottle wastes after autoclaving are sorted into small, medium and large-sized bottles using vibrators in the bottle sorting area. These glass wastes are also further recycled. The only wastes remaining now are the metal sharps like needles, blades, etc. They are disposed in sharp pits in a secured landfill area inside the plant and safely sealed off. IMAGE has constructed huge concrete pits in a vast section of the land for this purpose. The effluent generated as a byproduct of the waste disposal process is also treated scientifically using the most advanced technology in the world. The effluent treatment plant in IMAGE has a whopping capacity of more than 4.5 lakh liter per day. The effluent is passed through a series of cleansing mechanisms like screen chamber, grid chamber, equalization tank, chemical dosage area, primary clarifier, moving bio bed reactor tank, flash mixing tank, secondary clarifier, filter feed tank, pressurized sand filter, activated carbon filter, 
etc. to reach the fountain tank. The clean water thus obtained is safe and reused in the plant for various purposes like watering plants in the garden, washing of vehicles and flow cleaning. The sludge formed during this process is stored in sludge drying bed and taken to a secured landfill area. It is then collected away by Kale Kuchin. The image plant is also equipped with a 380 kVA diesel generator system, a rainwater harvesting system with 15 lakh liter capacity, 64 CCTV cameras for 24 by 7 surveillance and a fire hydrant system. The image plant which is spread out in 26 acres of a serene strip of land with a green eco belt also houses a guest house, a conference hall, an office room, a canteen, a restroom and a vehicle wash area. The image plant had a humble beginning in 2001 and was commissioned on December 14, 2003 from a modest number of 25 healthcare institutions in its client list to start with this dream project of the IMA Kerala state branch has now spread out as the biggest biomedical waste management facility in the Asian subcontinent with nearly 500 employees and a mammoth disposal capacity of 35 tons of biomedical wastes per day. As per the data on October 2018, various government healthcare facilities like government hospitals, medical colleges, ESI hospitals, laboratories, clinics, dental clinics and veterinary hospitals amounting to 911 government healthcare institutions with a bed strength of 33,722 are clients of image. Various private healthcare establishments like hospitals, laboratories, clinics and dental clinics to the tune of 12,095 with 59,544 bed strength are also beneficiaries of image. Furthermore, 50 plus other healthcare institutions like old age homes, dialysis centers, the sanitary napkin disposal special project of Kaumarasri, blood banks, Ayush institutions and pain and palliative clinics also utilizes the facility of image. A total of 13,057 healthcare establishments with 93,266 bed strength. Image holds the rare distinction of being a private institution working for the government. The image plant is run successfully with the technical cooperation of GJ Multiclave, the internationally acclaimed name in biomedical waste management. The entire processes of image are executed in the most technically sophisticated manner. IMA has developed an exclusive web portal www.imageima.org for this purpose. Right from the enrollment of a healthcare establishment, the processes are online. Affiliation, enrollment in special categories, training requests and operational charge payments are all done through the web. Each healthcare establishment is provided with a unique customer login ID. Collection bags with barcode requests can be placed through the PEPS link in the portal. Authorized dealers provide the barcoded collection bags as per the requests generated online. Image abides by all the rules of the land, be it pollution control, environmental or public health. Using state-of-the-art technology, image functions in a cent percent eco-friendly manner at par with international standards. It is these specialities that fetched image the exceptional distinction of being the best biomedical disposal facility in Asia. Image is indeed a visionary mission of the leaders of IMA Kerala State Branch. The populace of Kerala is not even aware of the fact that had not the leaders of IMA KSB taken such an audacious stride against all odds, biomedical wastes would have been the most bothersome environmental issue of our state. Certain epithets are metaphorical whereas certain others are bona fide. The image plant being referred to as the Kerala IMA model of biomedical waste management by the global medical community is indeed a recognition righteously deserved. An honor to IMA Kerala state branch for the services rendered to the medical fraternity and mankind through image. A tribute 
to the silent revolution led in the biomedical waste management sector which will be etched in golden letters in the annals of history. A salute to the determination of the Kerala state leadership which made the entire Indian Medical Association proud. The one project which fetched laurels to the IMA. Image. IMA goes eco-friendly. Image. Kanjikod Palakkad Administrative Office IMA State Headquarters Anyara Thiruvananthapuram Phone 0471-274-2211-274-1111 I also saw this video fully this time. I hope you must have liked very much. This is a titanic uh, um, titanic uh, um, project completed it and is undergoing by the Indian Medical Association of the Kerala and this covers almost whole of the biomedical waste management. There are certain requirements by the Pollution Control Board enforced on the healthcare facilities. Every healthcare facility has to register itself with a common biomedical waste treatment facility. Another requirement of the biomedical waste management authorization by pollution control board of the state to which the healthcare facility is belonging. Every facility, healthcare facility has to get a authorization certificate from the pollution control board. There is an application, there are payments, there are in inspections due by the Pollution Control Board and these applications are coupled with water and environmental clearances also. So they are combined consent and biomedical waste management authorization certificates. And this certificate is issued for three or five years. So till the certificate is valid, the healthcare facility is authorized to operate in the prescribed manner. This is a copy of our authorization certificate. You have seen various treatment modalities used in the video of image I have shown. You can define it is as any method, technique, designed to change the biological or physical character or composition of waste to reduce or eliminate pathogens. The disposal is actually the final resting place for the biomedical waste. There are various kinds of the treatment modalities. Uh, I have tried to enumerate few. The chemical disinfections, you all know the hypo or other chemical disinfectants are used to make the waste uh, non-infectious. The incinerator, you all know there are chances of getting a short note in biomedical waste or in the in the sterilization chapter of microbiology about the incinerator autoclave you all know hydroclave hydroclave is a is a big big autoclave with the churning device so autoclaved material is churned together with the autoclaving and the temperature and pressure are little higher than the autoclave. The um, biomedical waste after passing through the hydroclave, it really becomes a sludge which is, which is compostable also and nothing uh, infectious or damaging is there in it. Then microwave, you all have used microwave. It is a heating device. There are many types, sizes of the microwaves are there. Inertization or encapsulation. <clears throat> this is mostly recommended for this sharp waste. As the name suggests, this is uh, the is impregnated into the substances like cement, where the no more sharp surfaces are visible to the environment or the workers. Then ETP, a fluent treatment plant, is a liquid waste management system. A liquid which is effluent from the hospital. This is a newer emphasis by the Pollution Control Board. The hospital effluent may contain potentially hazardous organisms which may 
leak into the environment and may be harmful for the society. That is why it is essential for the healthcare facility to have a ETP or a, 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 a tie-up with the municipal ETP facilities in a prescribed manner. Plasma pyrolysis is a newer device. Plasma is a fourth state of matter by various methods. The plasma state is produced in a chamber and then the waste can be burned, destroyed. Sanitary landfills are the, actually these are the treatment sites for the domestic waste, not for the biomedical waste. Then shredding, you must have seen in the, in the video of the image, the plastic after being autoclave is shredded into the pieces so that it can be sent to the plastic industry. Just to show few treatment types, treatment methods separately, this is a sodium hypochlorite disinfection chamber, another type of sodium hypochlorite chamber uh, placed at the effluent of the hospital. You have seen incinerator in the video, this is another type of vertical double chamber uh, incinerator. Incinerator can be diesel operated, can be electric operated or any other energy fuel can run the, 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 the incinerator but the diesel and the electric ones are the more common ones. Loading of the plastic, the red color waste into the autoclave. Hydroclave is a very large apparatus, not many in India are functioning, one at least Two I know, one in the Tata Memorial Hospital and one is in the Command Hospital, um, Bangalore. Microwave treatment method, you can see a microwave, there are many components of the microwave and details. In the video of the image, you have seen a large sharp pit, pit for the needles. This is a small model, it has to be encapsulated in a in a in a secured manner so that nobody in nobody's contact the sharp will come the type of the effluent treatment plant etp in the in the way out towards the lontech temple on the left side the end of the campus road we have got effluent treatment plant you you must have seen it near the uh, biomedical waste management interim storage facility uh, just right on the right side there is a laundry of the PMT and on the left side there is a effluent treatment plant plasma torch a newer device very costly but very effective the sketch diagram of the sanitary landfill where the solid waste is deposited after taking care of the anything not going into the layers of the important layers of the soil. This is a small plastic shredder machine used to shred the plastic. Plastic is broken into small pieces so that it can be used in a plastic industry. In the Pravara Rural Hospital, the collection and segregation is done by the 15 50 and 120 liter buckets of green, yellow, red and blue color and the respective wastes are collected into that. Whatever size is needed is placed to the site. White transparent bucket are used 15 liters since the volume of sharp is less than uh, less only 15 liter bucket is used. Green color is used as I told you earlier for the domestic waste. And these all buckets are usually, except the green ones, are lined with the non clarinated plastic bags of the corresponding color. Roughly, there are 60 points of generation in the Pravara Rural Hospital. Daily, twice the waste is collected from these points to bigger buckets to transport trolley, trolleys and then this waste, this, is, this waste is weighed and recorded at the time of collection and from the trolley it is shifted to biomedical waste management vein. There is a special van you must have seen uh, trolling, uh, 
trolling in the campus a covered uh, covered maruti van this is for the collection and transport of the waste usually from the hospital to the interim storage site biomedical waste management chart being used in prh this is an important chart which will be useful for anybody to learn the biomedical waste this is from the container to the waste site so which container will have what kind of container i have listed i am trying to make a, another component in the same chart where a particular waste should go in which type of the chart but it is not yet prepared as soon as prepared i'll make another column on the right side where the waste is listed along with the color code of the buckets buckets this is the app uh, i was referring prepared by all india institute of medical uh, sciences delhi it's a very good app to learn any time biomedical waste you can download it in your mobile keep it in your mobile and read whatever material is given and that there is a game there are three levels of the game each level is having 11 10 and 10 scores and play the game till you get 30 out 31 out of 30 score Uh, to have a better grip on the biomedical waste management subject and i thank you all of you very much for a patient listening i hope you must have gained something from this lecture and the rest depends upon your homework i suggest you to do a good amount of homework to to be able to thorough in the biomedical waste management for the examination from the viva and from the actual practice point of view because um, in biomedical waste management we are um, uh, we are really messed up uh, with the waste which we are generating and there are many havocs and i would like to add few words here i forgot to mention it earlier the corona there is a special waste management instructions from the um, pollution control board about the corona uh, actually uh, not much difference from the original new rules 16 rules are there just the precautions are increased what precautions are increased number 1 instead of single layer double layer bags are recommended to be line inside the container and after the lining when you are taking out there are double layer, two bags means instead of one there are two and then each bag is sprayed with 1% hypo solution to disinfect it one thing second thing is that from the biomedical waste management um, common facility that is the bio clean or similar facility it is recommended to be collected in a different vehicle different than the other biomedical waste regular biomedical waste so the waste is divided now into two categories the covid waste and the non covid biomedical waste so keep this in mind there is a non covid biomedical waste and there is a covid biomedical waste thank you once again try to save earth by cooperating in the biomedical waste management fully